Welcome to South Floor TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most loud, loud, loud and clear this morning. We're up and we're thankful because we wake up this morning healthy, strong, confident, all the good things in life. And you know, sir, every day is not an up day, right? All right. So we give thanks for the ones that are upful and right. Anyway, no long talking. Let me say something first. Today I'm going to talk about... Uh, Jamaica unsecured borders. This is a very serious topic. Pay attention because I'm going to touch upon some things. Jamaica's unsecured borders. Stick up in. First of all, let me say this. I put up a video this morning on the channel about Nicki Minaj, right? She had put up a um, Twitter message on her Twitter page that says don't drop the soap. As you know, Meat Mill just got Sentenced to two to four years, which is her ex-boyfriend. I know enough people have said, I don't care about that. Check it. Check the meds. Check the meds. All right. I said, damn, the girl bitter because they just broke up, right? One minute she was in love with me, engaged, ready to be married, and all of a sudden, it's, um, don't drop the soap card. The man will go to prison for two to four years, right? But I highlighted that message to segue into bringing some light to Nicki Minaj brother's court case that he has going on right now because the man did a sex off him little um, stepdaughter. He was married to the woman, his, his wife, and was sexing off her little girl, her stepdaughter. It started when she was 11 years old, according to the little girl. Bigger than that, the little eight-year-old boy walking in pan it and bust a door and catch it in the guest room in their house one time. And he testified in the trial as well. Do you know that people are more concerned that that message was uploaded to her Twitter page uh, in 2016? Instead of them saying that's wickedness what I'm doing, I hope justice is served and uh, you know the little girl probably not lying, whatever. No, they're more concerned about that. Just to show you where people's priorities are. Now, for those dummies, do you know that you can re-upload a message but it will still have the date that it was originally uploaded? But if I think it's relevant today, I re-upload it today, even though I 2014 me did originally upload it. Anyways, what we can talk about today on this video is Jamaica's unsecured borders. Somebody said to me, Soflo, do you know that a lot of the killings that are going on in Jamaica is done by people from other country? Quite possibly Haitians. So in other words then, Somebody pay a Haitian a money for come in, commit some murder, knock out some people, and gone back out of the country. Law enforcement can't trace them. We have the way in and out for you and everything good, right? Hitman for hire then from foreign countries. And I said to myself at the time, I said, kind of foolishness that. We Jamaicans need to start owning up to what the hell we're doing. No, it dawned on me this morning that could quite possibly be true. Could quite possibly be true. Run through some statistics real quick. Between last year and this year, at this point of this year, 1,249 illegal guns have been taken off the street. 1,249. Somebody said they're catching more illegal guns than they're catching criminals or all these illegal guns are being found or recovered or confiscated and no criminals are being arrested in numbers to match the amount of illegal guns. That is to tell us that something fishy is going on with the system. I totally agree. You are absolutely right. 30, almost between last year 2016 and this year 2017, Almost 30,000 rounds of illegal ammunition. So when man said them have cheese pan full of gunshot and then we fully up a cup and lead. They're not joking. 30,000 rounds of ammunition, illegal ammunition found so far or confiscated so far in Jamaica. Right? Now we're talking about the unsecured borders and we're talking about killers from other countries coming in like neighboring countries coming into Jamaica because who's to say if you can come in from Haiti 
and gun run between Haiti and Jamaica, then why you can't do it from Puerto Rico or from Cuba or from Dominican Republic or from all the other um, neighboring islands surrounding Jamaica then? Now, hear this. I just saw where uh, Montague was talking about securing Jamaica's borders, making them more secure so nothing can move in and out without us knowing. Okay. Haven't we said before that Jamaica needs to be put in a fishbowl and the problem of the gun running and drugs invading the country is very easy to be solved. All them have to do I lock down the wall of them and lock down the waterways surrounding the country. Simple. Somebody said again, so Flo, you know how easy it is for go Haiti from Jamaica. A man jump on a speedboat and zing in a one hour him reach, you know. Zing in a one hour him back, you know. So two to three hours, you can go here to drop off where you have to drop off, pick up where you have to pick up and be back in Jamaica with a bag full of money in no time. That's true. But that's even more scarier than anything else just to think about how true that actually really is. Here we are. Montague is now talking about plane, having a plane or planes that will monitor from the sky the waterways around Jamaica, the route from Jamaica to, say, Haiti and the other neighboring islands. My people, I'm going to jump off the dry and I say, yes, it's about time. You know, equipped it with night vision equipment so man can fly night mission and sit down by the water and see who I move where, what's going out, what's coming in from the sky. They can monitor a wider um, area and pick up on what go on, don't it? Yes. So I'm glad to see that they're actually talking about that. Because, quite honestly, when they keep talking about these 700 and something guns found in 2016, I mean 2017, 200 and something more than what was found at this point in 2016, illegal guns confiscated in rounds of ammunition, and five more guns seized in Morant be a point. 20 more guns seized in New Kingston, 17 more guns seized in this part of Clarendon. All that doesn't do anything. Okay? All it tells we say, the place full up of guns. Tell us how you're going to stop the guns from coming in. Because I've said it before, and every intelligent person knows this. We don't have no gun factory in Jamaica. We don't have any gun factories in Jamaica. Jamaica has no gun factories. We don't make guns. Not the guns that we're seeing that are being found. So find out how those guns are coming in. Close off that gateway and we will have solved half the problem. Then you can begin to clean up what's on the streets. Because if you are not arresting those being found with these guns and you are not arresting equal amount of people than illegal guns found, do the ratio, do the maths. And at the same time, all you have to do are find guns. You can find guns, find guns, find guns all day. The people them who are getting guns, getting guns, will continue to just get more guns, get more guns, get more guns. And then more murder, more murder, more murder. I just saw the thing I got. So find close off. Like when Donald Trump, he said, I'm going to do build a wall. We can't build a wall. But secure our borders in Jamaica. That may I tell them. Once you secure the borders, then we can start to deal with all the other issues that's going on. It's SoFlow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. This is my morning vlog for you this morning. Everybody stay up on a positive today here. Stay on a positive today. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Don't let anybody stop your vision. Don't let anybody sidetrack you from what it is you got going on up here. You know your way. Make your way. All right? I'm out. Peace.